How's it going once again? <laughs> Good to see you again. So who am I, right? Well, I'm a human. <laughs> I'm an artist. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a, I'm a painter. I'm a landscape painter. I also paint some abstract stuff. Uh, I do, I do, I do different stuff, but nevertheless, I am a painter, right? That's what I do. I create oil on canvas paintings. And I was born in Mexico. I was born in Guadalajara, the state of Jalisco, where mariachi and tequila is from. For those of you who like, who remember tequila. <laughs> so uh, I came to the U.S. with my family at around when I was nine years old. And ever since, I've had, you know, around, around, around 12 to 14 years old is really when I, I used to like to draw a lot. Right? I'm a self-taught artist. I used to like to draw. My mom was into drawing and all of that kind of stuff. But, uh, but I started going into painting. For some reason, I started looking at uh, 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 those foggy paintings by Monet. <laughs> those blurry paintings. So I got into it. I got the art bug. And, uh, I, you know, it's, it's in me. That's what I do. I breathe it. It's 24-7. And I am sharing this process with you here. I think it's going to be valuable for those of you who are looking to become artists, who are artists, and maybe uh, just sharing stuff, you know, learning a thing or two or not, I don't know. And also for art collectors and art lovers, I got some stuff to share. Uh, I, was, I was mainly self-taught. I, I, I want to say that because uh, it, was, it was sort of by accident that I started painting because I, I used to... I used to have this uh, anxiety attacks when I was younger. I don't know, it was part of growing up and you know, this and that. So I used to get kind of like a, a little anxiety attacks. I couldn't calm my mind down. So one of the things that started helping me or that I realized was that every time I drew or I created artwork, I would find a lot of peace in my heart. You know, it started, you know, it, it was kind of zen for me. So I wanted to do more of that, of course, right? It's when we find our purpose. This is the thing I want to do because this brings, I get excited, I get enthusiastic, most importantly, and, and it brings peace to my heart. So that, that meant a lot for me, especially growing up, right? Uh, now, <laughs> even more. As an adult, we get sometimes, most of us, <laughs> not sometimes, uh, for, the most, for the most part, we get uh, uh, the, the heaviness of life, right? Uh, you, get, you, know, you get more responsibilities, this and that, what are you going to do with your life? And uh, da, 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 da. And when you find that thing, whatever that thing is, for me, it was creating artwork. You have a, you have a higher purpose because you want to become the best, right? The best you can be. And I think we all strive for that. We all strive, whether we know it or not, whether we're in the journey or, or not. We all, I believe, we all want to be the best we can be. And I chose artwork. So I started visiting museums. I started, I started well, before the museums, I started doing what is called plein air. I didn't know that it was called plein air, but I started painting outside. I started drawing, sketching first charcoal, right? I couldn't afford paint. Once I started doing... a uh, <laughs> cleaning yards and whatnot, whatever I could do as a, as a, as a, as a young, as a young dude, I started getting a, a little bit of money to buy my, my oil paint sets. And, and then, you know, I bought my French easel and then I was official, right? <laughs> but, uh, most, most of my training was self-taught. I did look at artists and I, you know, kind of shattered a little bit here and there, but most of my training was self-taught because I was more interested in, and from early on, I, I, I discovered that in myself and I decided that I was more interested in pursuing my personal vision other than maybe another artist, right? So that, that inclined me more to looking at, let's see, who's, who's in the museums and what can I learn from all these dead dudes, right? From all these dead guys. What can I learn from them? So I started visiting museums. And just, you know, going and looking and looking and looking and looking and practicing and painting. And, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That's been my journey. I paint every day. Uh, some days I don't, you know. Uh, I don't feel like I rest. Like if I don't, if, if it's Sunday and I don't paint, I'm like, oh, I don't want to paint. No, if it's Sunday and I don't paint, I got to sketch something. I got the bug. <laughs> it's in me. <laughs> so uh, that's who I am. Uh, I'm married. I have a son. And they support me. They help me. They help me around the studio. 
Uh, of course, my wife Liz said is a tremendous help uh, for me when it comes to to all the aspects, not just the emotional aspect of, of right being married to an artist. For those of you who are married to an artist, I'm sorry for you guys or girls. I really am. <laughs> but it's awesome. There's another aspect. It's really awesome. Uh, <laughs> what other aspect? No, no, no. There's another aspect. It's really awesome. We tend to be deep thinkers sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to share a little bit with you about who I am and how I came to be. Now, I... I am in the process of becoming the best artist I can be. And I'm, I'm thankful that some of you are watching and joining me in the process because I think it's going to be awesome. So thank you so much and till next time. Bye-bye.